Let's examine the prompt. This is a Britlet prompt, but it was adapted from the 2010 AP English language exam. It's a timed write designed for a 40 minute write. Let's look at the first part of the prompt. Palestinian American literary theorist and cultural critic Edward Said has written that exile is strangely compelling to think about, but terrible to experience. It is the unhealable rift forced between a human being and a native place, between the self and its true home. Its essential sadness can never be surmounted. Yet, Said has also said that exile can be a potent, can become a potent, even enriching experience. All right, and pause here before we go to the second part of the prompt. And let's look at the words. So we, we, I've showed you images of exile. And you, now you know now from the definition that uh, ex exile is the state of being barred from one's native country, usually for political or, or punishment or, or economic. But basically, you're leaving. You don't necessarily want to leave your country. So psychologically, it's it's uh, very difficult. Um, and something that perhaps an exile has to only speak to another exile to have someone who really understands what they're going through. Um, you're never always home. Home is always where you came from, no matter what. No matter if your experience in the new place is beautiful, you've left home. Um, so that's the second part of the prompt, that while exile can be a terrible experience, it can also be an enriching experience, a beneficial uh, experience. All right, And that's what this question is getting to with John the Savage. He's in exile. I mean, he's growing up on an Indian reservation with people who are different. Um, Shakespeare's his only solace. He reads a lot of Shakespeare, which is Shakespeare has nothing to do with the new world he's going to go into, his brave new world. Um, and there he is in exile. He is not home in the brave, in the new world. He learns things, but is it an enriching experience or is it just a terrible experience for him? All right, so now we go to the second part of the prompt. In Brave New World, John the Savage experiences such a rift and becomes cut off from home. And home, considering that home is his birthplace or his family, his homeland, or another special place. Write an essay in which you analyze how John the Savage's experience with exile is both alienating and enriching and how this experience illuminates the meaning of the work as a whole. Keep in mind how in his new surroundings, society is controlled by science and technology. The issues associated with truth, happiness, consumerism, individuality, and family can be explored in answering this prompt. All right, so let's look at the second part of the prompt. And, and as you can see, it's, it's John the Savage you're writing about in the same way you explored John the Savage in your summer reading journal. All right, he gets cut off from home. He is the person who is in exile, and it's difficult to, uh, to place what is home for John the Savage because he exactly wasn't an Indian for the Indian Reservation either, and he's not a member of that new world. Sometimes it seems like maybe it's the Shakespeare books. But that is perhaps his true home which both helps him and hurts him when dealing with uh, human beings in the brave new world. All right, so how? How is this experience with exile both alienating and enriching? That's what the, you're trying to get to. Um, and then the, the tougher part of this essay is this experience that John the Savage goes through, this exile. How does that make us understand the meaning of Brave New World as an entire novel? You have to come up with uh, some universal statement, something 
some lesson that is learned by this, and everyone will write their own unique one. And then consider some of the Socratic, um, I'm sorry, consider the uh, essential questions we've been using. Um, you know that the new world is controlled by science and technology. You know that there's always an exploration between truth and happiness, that is like buying and purchasing new things and not paying attention to what's really going on because you're so addicted to your happiness, the consumerism. Individuality doesn't have a place and family doesn't have a place in this new world, so that's also explored. And so you can throw that into the essay as well. All right, let's look at a possible approach uh, for doing this essay. You know, the first thing you have to do is um, come up with an introduction that leads to a thesis sentence. Then, uh, um, one suggestion I would say is uh, to, the prompt is asking for how the exile experience is both alienating and enriching. So I would divide the essay in half. Perhaps one section of the essay would be about the alienation, and the second part of the essay would be the enriching effect of exile. Depending on your thesis, you could flip this around and do enriching first and alienating second. Then a possible suggestion is where you get to how the experience illuminates the meaning of the whole might be a, a good strategy for a conclusion. When you come up with a universal statement with an example, perhaps you leave that for your conclusion so that you have the beginning of the essay with the thesis, a part of alienation, a part of enrichment. You're finding examples from the book, or at least an example from the book to cite in each paragraph. And then you wrap this up by, by showing us how John's experiences illuminates the meaning of the work as a whole. All right. So let's look at some sample thesis sentences. I'll start with some goodish ones. All right. This, these uh, samples are not from Brave New World. I did that on purpose. So you come up with your own thesis sentence. Here's a goodish one. In the story of Robinson Crusoe, Crusoe is stranded on an island with nothing and no one. While many people would see this exile as a living hell, Crusoe makes the situation into the best situation possible. While exile can be alienating, it can also be enriching. It's a good as thesis. It, it does do what you're asked, which is how is the experience is enriching and how the experience uh, is alienating, but it's not specific it's it's still very general it doesn't you know that you could have a crisper thesis right, let's look at uh, uh, the, let's look at a good one which is now the uh, the third uh, thesis sentence here All right, this is from the novel or story the heart of darkness All right. using the character Kurtz Conrad the author writes about the alien experience, alienating experience for Kurtz heading into the heart of darkness. That's the, the jungle in Africa. While Kurtz may have had an alienating experience in the darkness of the African jungle, his effect on Marlowe is one that is very enriching, illuminating the meaning of the works as a whole. All right, this is good. This is better. This is a little bit more specific than the sentence we read of uh, Robinson Crusoe. All right, let's look, let's look at another one in, uh, using the Kite Runner. In the Kite Runner by Khalid Sini, Amir experiences an enormous sense of alienation and enrichment when he comes to America and struggles with emotions between the two lands to portray the theme that only salvation leads to peace of mind. All right, that's a good thesis right there that uh, gives the, you know that this person is going to write um, about the alienation, about the enrichment, and when it comes to the final paragraph, uh, they're going to describe how salvation leads to peace of mind. So um, I hope this uh, helps explain uh, the approach you'll have on the essay. Thank you.